Hey guys, Carlo Mandavi here from Monarch Tractor. I'm the Chief Farming Officer. Monarch is a revolutionary technology. Uh, it's gonna completely transform how we farm. It's gonna allow for us to, as farmers, first off, make more profit and be more successful. It's gonna allow for us as farmers to become more independent and rely more on what we have on our farms versus inputs from, from foreign areas. Uh, and ultimately, it, it's going to allow for us to do all this while protecting our planet's biodiversity. And I wanted to give a little bit of background on why the name Monarch um, and why this revolutionary technology is gonna change the world for the better. So the backstory behind Monarch is that um, it's named after the beautiful westerly monarch butterflies. And uh, this is an area here uh, in California where the monarchs migrate through. And since the introduction of Roundup in 1974, the monarch population of butterflies has declined by 99% and they're on the brink of extinction. And monarchs are indicator species like the polar bears of the north or the wolves of Yellowstone. If we can protect our planet's indicator species, uh, we can protect so much more underneath them. You know, there was a recent study that came out that showed that 70% of the insect biomass in Europe has disappeared since the year 2000, with it 50% of the bird population. And scientists are saying globally, it's more like 50% of the insects of the planet and the birds of our planet have disappeared. And so within the monarch challenge, I began was to create awareness about certain things like herbicides and dangerous chemicals in agriculture. And it was to talk with farmers because my fellow farmers, whether they are the most conventional farm or the most organic and beyond farm, I knew that every farmer alike cares deeply for our planet and every farmer cares deeply for their family. And so I thought by creating awareness about some of these dangerous chemicals in agriculture that we would simply migrate away from them. So I would go out and talk with these families and uh, good friends and, and friends of friends. And they would say, look, we didn't realize that glyphosate and these herbicides are linked to this human health impact. I didn't realize the environmental impact, but I've got to put food on the table for my families. I've got to put my kids through college. And I quickly realized or learned that 45% of farms in America are not profitable. Then I would talk to some farms and they would say, look, we realize that these chemicals are not ideal, but in order for us to have a successful farm, we have to have a stable climate. And when you turn a compact tractor on, that's diesel, the size of Monarch, it's like turning on 14 cars and it's NOx particulate and CO2. So I quickly learned that clean farming because you're using either your mowing, no chemicals, or you're spraying organic contact sprays instead of systemics, you have to drive your tractor more to be uh, in this kind of beyond organic realm. So there's a carbon footprint divide. I quickly realized that these two divides were unsurmountable unless we were going to innovate. And this is what the brilliant team at Monarch is doing. My brilliant co-founders, Mark Praveen and Zachary, and the incredible team of engineers that we have at Monarch are working towards bridging these divides. By being all electric, Monarch Tractor bridges the carbon footprint divide. And if we connect to the grid, it's incredibly clean. But the beautiful thing as farmers is that we can bridge the grid and get into renewable farming. So we can literally power our farms with the same sunlight that grows our crops, the wind that passes pollen throughout our fields, the uh, geothermal that many farms are, are uh, in abundance of, or hydro. The other really exciting thing about Monarch is that it's autonomy stack. So first you can drive it like a normal tractor, nothing changes there. You have your three point hitch with your PTO and your hydraulic pump. Everything works there just as is. But the wonderful thing about being autonomous is that it allows for us as farmers to get out of our hazmat suits and get out of the most dangerous place on the farm, which is in the tractor seat, and be able to step away and observe and monitor our tractors and tractor fleets through our phones and computers. From a Monarch Challenge perspective and how we're gonna protect our planet's biodiversity, by being autonomous, we can get away from herbicides. Herbicides are a chemical that are used to mow. And typically it's used to mow because you can do one pass, spray a pre-emergent, which kills a seabed and a, and a burn down herbicide, and you're done for the year. By being able to be autonomous, you can mow as you want, as much as needed, and you do not have that additional expense, the additional risk, and the additional time. We're able to bridge away from the chemical era of farming and into a regenerative era of farming. Farming is um, an artistic expression of, of our hands and earth to grow food. And so by being able to have all the creative, beautiful ways to farm that don't hurt our soil microbiome and farm biology, but in fact benefit it, allows for us to go to a whole nother level of farming where we can do that for less the cost of today's conventional farming. Monarch is gonna protect our soil microbiome and farm biology and so much more. 
all while making farmers, us as farmers, more profitable. I think that it can only be done with the brilliant team that we have. This is a revolutionary time in agriculture.